Right, fuckers, and, uh, fuckerinas, and, uh, fuckers who don't want to have a gender or anything of that, I don't fucking know, I'm trying to be nice. Uh, this is another of my beautiful, completely professional tutorials, as you can see by me clearing the trash bin while I'm opening the program that I will be telling you some very interesting shit about. Uh, yes, why am I doing this? Because uh, this little wee lad here doesn't know how to do visors and wants to learn about baking and shit like that, and... Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I, I just think, why not? I am on the wrong speakers. Not that I have any fucking music or anything going on, it's just me speaking, but I feel more safe and secure when I have my... Uh, fucker, no, I don't want to... I just downloaded the fucking newest version a few days ago. What the fuck is this shit? Anyways, yes, this is important. You need Substance Painter for this because I will be teaching, not teaching, telling you about the beautiful magic of Substance, <laughs> substance Painter. So what you want to do if you don't have an already set up project file, which would be the smartest thing. Also, your Substance Painter layout may be a bit different than mine as I made mine like this as it is uh, the best I deem fit for me. Also, I think, can I make this a bit smaller? No, I can only make it thick. But, yeah, this is what worked best for me, which is why I keep it that way. I may look different for you, but you can always rearrange that shit. Right, so you want to go to File. Let me do that again. Click New. The shortcut is Control n Like, uh... Fucking... Nyet. Or nine, or no. Yes, I almost had to think out for that. I wanted something funny, but I am not funny. I'm terribly sorry. Right, you want to select your beautiful, 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 beautiful bash that you should have lying around somewhere. I'll take the P2 clone of Legion Studios because I am so absolutely cool and I can do that. Right. This looks fancy and all, and you could start drawing on here, technically, if you have the right fucking texture set selected. But that's gay, because every, if you press C, you can also switch the mode, you know. I, I, I explained that all in a different tutorial, but that's a diff that, that, that different tutorial is old as fuck and shit and stupid, and nobody wants to watch that, and it's way too long, and this will be not any shorter, but it's okay. Right, everything, if you press C, you can switch through the different channels, you can see that up here. Base color is the one you want. M is for materials and shading. Right, so the first thing you want to do is either you find the beautiful texture files that you may have lying around somewhere. Uh, like... Why do I have them in here? What the fuck? Like, just, you know, drag and drop them inside here and define them as a texture. And then to your shelf, preferably. I already did that because I am absolutely smite, so I already have them in my texture list down here. Right, what are you going to do with those? Well, quite simple. You're going to pull off some magic. First, you're going to delete layer 1 because fuck layer 1. Nobody loves layer 1. All my homies hate layer 1. Create another fill layer. Scroll down in the properties to the base color and drag and drop the corresponding texture on there and bada boom bada bang you see this is so magic and it looks so cool if you want to be extra special you can also have the fucking normal map and drag and drop that on the normal map I am about to sneeze every time when I say it, I don't have to sneeze oh I think it's coming Wait. <coughs> Woo! now that kicks you up in the morning right Let's do that for the other beautiful texture sets as well. This is the lower body. Why am I explaining this? Because there are people who don't know that and who may want to know this. Uh, and the people who already know that can skip this. I'll hopefully, if I feel like doing it, will mark this all in the um, description with those beautiful timestamps that they are now. And yeah. Right, uh, smart material for the undersuit, I always use it. You can all either use just a black map, uh, black texture, but if you want to be, like, fancy and all, you can go ahead, go ahead and just, you know, take fabric, thin, synthesize dots, go to the fabric base and make that black, and it looks so snazzy, wowie. 
Right, uh, let's first start with quite basic texturing stuff again, the way I texture, which is the best way I found out is, let's start with the helmet because helmets are great. You create, you don't create another empty layer because empty layers are gay. You want to create a fill layer. So you might think, but dear slob sir, why the fuck would I create a fill layer? This is all fucking red now. Right? First of all, you want to multiply that layer to make it look better. And then you right click it and add a black mask to it. Now you see that you pulled up some black magic and this is now white, uh, not white, but normal again. White is not normal. No, it is normal in this case. Or rather grey, I think this is more grey of white than white. But anyways, you see that you have a white brush here. What can you do with the white brush? You can click and <gasps> it is red. Yes, this is the best way to actually do textures in my opinion because, you know, it is not stupid. So you can go ahead and just texture whatever you want. Wow, textures are so fucking cool. I love this. And because I feel like it and I don't feel like making anything snazzy. Here we go. A red boy. And if you feel like, oh no, I don't want him red, I don't want him, I, I want him blue. You can just change the color of the fill layer and it'll change the color correspondingly. Which is why I prefer this method. As it is easy to correct mistakes and if you start it texturing, you are a mistake and you will make mistakes. Lovely, let's go ahead and do some basic designs on the upper body as well. You know what, to have the same color, I will actually just copy this layer. Always do that, uh, press control C twice or thrice or 400 times to make sure it works. And actually paste something, yeah, because Substance Painter likes to have a mind of its own. Right, Nika, oh, I'm on the upper body, didn't know that. Then make, give him blue shoulders as I will of course show you some more beautiful stuff this is all rather basic and nothing all too fancy but you know you help where you can Jesus Christ he looks like a fucking blueberry this is ridiculous why would I ever make this good now let's go ahead and go to the lower body paste the bad boy and give him blue kneecaps and you know what leg Yes, I love this clone so much. This is amazing. Right, you are you, you now think that it is time to spice things up. You know you like your blueberries all clean and all that shit, but what if hypothetically, theoretically, in this universe, the blueberries are not clean, but roughed up and dirty and shit and all. Well, you want to add weathering to your clone boy. You don't want the color to be perfect. You want it to be scrapped and scratched and trash. Understandably, make stuff look better. We'll come to that in a second. For now, we'll make him more special by going deep into his eyes. Because I also could ask how to make cool looking visors. Not that I know anything about the cool looking stuff, as you can clearly see here, but I know a thing or two about visors. So, first, you want to do is create another full layer. You add another black mask to it. Let's make this beautiful layer red because red is a beautiful color. You now go to polygon fill. I suppose you know that. If you don't, I don't fucking care. This is a tool that works. Don't drag and drop it over the fucking model because that'll just go through it. You want to do that on the 2D map. Wow, this is such a beautiful 2D map. But yes, here we go. We have a, only the helmet and the beautiful color. And flat helmets, uh, flat color visors usually look like shit. Also, you want to keep that on normal for once, unless you find anything that is cooler, like fucking divide. Mm -hmm. No, right. Uh, but if you if you want to feel be like extra special, you go to the black mask. You add a generator. Where is it? There it is. And the generator you want to search gradient. You can go whatever gradient you want. I usually prefer clean ones, like normal linear. This is not what I wanted. I don't mean it on the black mask. I meant it on here, on the fill layer itself. I think I I might myself doubt my own uh, fucking abilities. Ah, uh, more or less. This is not exactly the color because I just overwritten. I have overwritten the color. 
and I am absolutely stupid. I apologize for that. I forgot about the folders. Folders are important as well. You know that. Right, and now we can remove this black mask, clear it, and add a black mask to the folder itself. And this can be the visor. You don't see anything yet because this black mask is empty. Now we can add the generator on here. Go to the gradient. There we go. Edit the balance. Oh, I already was on base mask, uh, base color. Go a bit more contrasty if you feel like it. And have a uh, almost good looking gradient. You now go about and rotate the environment. If it doesn't work, you'll make it work. Now this is actually just, you know, trying to get the perfect thing going on. You know, what you like the most, like high contrast. I suppose you do you. Or if you want a rather low contrast or a nice middle ground. It's not a nice middle ground what I'm doing here. This is rather terrible. You can also go ahead and add tiling and make a zebra. But yes, this is just playing around. Now we have a blueberry with red eyes because he's angry. Why is he angry? Because he is now roughed up. How would we do that? Easy going. First, we want to bake the mesh maps on top of each other to get the beautiful smart maps going on. So to that, we go to Edit, Bake Mesh Maps. You will select 2K because 2K is the best and bake all texture sets. This may take a while, may not, depends on how slow your potato is or how fast. My potato is, uh, depends on its mood actually. Sometimes it's fast, sometimes it's not, sometimes it's bad, sometimes I just want to shoot it because it, is, uh, it has a broken leg. Right. Ugh. Not sure if I will edit this out. Maybe I will, maybe I won't, I don't fucking care. <laughs> all right beautiful uh, it totally wasn't on my phone on Instagram this is all done now we click OK you see not much changed except for the undersuit that looks a bit nicer now and this is all it does it makes things look a bit nicer but what do I mean with that well this is quite so we can go to you know this beautiful filet here and depending on you know uh, how we feel why is it like that? That disturbs me. No. Anyways, we can go up here, create another filet, and another smart mask, and uh, not another smart mask, another filet. And on that filet, we will just throw a beautiful smart mask, like what is cool. I really like paint. Oh, that usually works on uh, here, stuff like that. Now it doesn't because we made a full layer. If you just if you if you know weird and you use a normal paint layer for that, that works perfectly fine. But it doesn't in this case. But we can already uh, almost uh, always trick the system by creating another folder, throwing this in here. Fucking yeah, leave the smart mask in there, and then we can throw the paint node on here. Painel is a rather nice one in my opinion. You can just invert it if you don't like it like this and bada boom bada bang you have some easy go and wear and shit on that. Of course you want to multiply the folder itself as you know you want the colours to look cool. If you are not satisfied with that, you can always, you know, create a, a new generators and you know throw some more stuff 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 in there like generator and you want scratches. Oh, I cannot write for the hell of it. Like, grunge scratches rough. Why? I don't know. You don't want this on normal because you know, want the other as well. Is it multiply? I think so. Yes. See, bada boom, bada bang. You got scratches on your normal wear and tear. And you can always adjust the sliders to have this more or less cool or edgy or whatever. Scratch quantity. If you don't like the big scratches, you can also, you know, go with the scratch tiling. Where is it? Here it is. This is blur. This is tiling. Bam! Lots and lots of small scratches. This is pretty much the way to go for normal fucking uh, baked weathering on fucking designs. Don't want this. I want this. Put this in here. Put this on multiply so the blueberry ain't as much of a blueberry. Boom. Mask, invert this bat boy. 
this is so beautiful you want to create another generator and again the grunge scratches with inverted thingies on multiply yes I'll do that for the undersuit as well just to feel uh, not undersuit lower body just to feel loved in one uh, one time in my life yes Oi. and yes and generator yes 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 wow this is really cool I really like that but you also want dirt on your armor because you are a dirty little bastard yourself and you can't be asked to actually look up to do something so you just create another fill layer you go for a weird dirty color like bright yellow because bright yellow is good ground dirt drag and drop it on there go to the mask editor and turn the balance of it down there you go you have dirt from the shoes also you can use any other thing here like fucking dirt or cavities cavities are always great I really like cavity maps because you know they make the insides and cavities be dirty the dirt is bright yellow this is a fucking Ikea trooper at this point who looked like he just pissed his pants I don't care here you have it this is fucking how you do it you have yourself custom weathering and the fucking beautiful looking Ikea clone with a nice design and big texture maps and big texture maps are great you should always have a fucking fall with big texture maps and save this boy so you don't lose it goodbye <laughs>